Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. I've got the ViewSonic Viewboard here, and we're talking about the My Viewboard software for PC. Now, I've already got videos uh, showing the board in general, as well as the Android system. We're talking specifically about the software for Windows in this video, so I hope you enjoy it. Now, with the ViewSonic Viewboard, you can use the built-in Android system, or you can use a Windows computer. Now, you can connect your own, so you'll have your laptop, desktop, Plug it in with cable, no problem. I've got a built-in PC for this one. So that's an option that ViewSonic offers. It's great. It's right up here in the panel. You can roll it around on a stand. You don't have to worry about a separate computer and cables and all that stuff. This is the built-in PC. So it's our Windows PC. First thing I want to show you is MyViewBoard.com. Now, you can use the MyViewBoard software without an account, but why would you want to do that? Don't. Create an account, it doesn't cost anything. Um, you go to myviewboard.com, sign up. You can set your preferences, set your settings. You can set links to show up in your, your web browser. You can have default backgrounds set. You can set a theme. So education, business, nonprofit, and sports, if I recall correctly. There might be another one in there. Uh, but that kind of gives you a default background and, and certain things, so it's pretty cool. Uh, I've got this set up. We're going to come back to this. Uh, so, right now I opened up the My View Board software. It defaults to green. That is the default background for an educational theme. Again, you can change it to the other themes or your own picture if you wanted to. Now, you'll see the sign-in screen right here. I don't have the time to type my password. I make them long and hard to remember. So, I've got the My View Board companion app on my phone. We scan the QR code and it logs me in. You'll see right there, this little box popped up showing some cloud services. So I mentioned in myviewboard.com, you can set all your settings. You can also set and link your Google Drive and your OneBox and, or OneDrive and uh, all that good stuff. So when you sign into the software, you're automatically signed into your cloud accounts. So you can pull files and save files to that. Uh, so my Viewboard software, as I mentioned, defaults to the green background. I have the educational theme set up here, so you're going to see that. It's like an old school chalkboard, right? Uh, now, you'll notice there's two toolbars. I can move that around. I've got this toolbar here, which I can move around as well. I'm going to leave them over here for the sake of the video. You'll see it easier. We've got awesome features here. You've got your standard annotation tools. Tap it twice. <laughs> uh, I can change colors. And when I select one, it kind of expands the palette. So I select red, you see more reds and pinks. And select black, you see grays and things like that. Uh, I'm going to keep it kind of a white color for now. But you just draw on your screen, you know, typical stuff. Uh, I've got an eraser. I can change the thickness of the eraser. I can make it a selection or just erase everything on the screen. That's basic stuff, right? We don't really need to see that. What I want to show you is the cool stuff. So first off, one of my favorite features is the AI pen. Now, if you've seen our Android video, you're already familiar, but this one's better. You'll notice we've got some other tools here. We've got paintbrush and highlighter. You've got these guys here so you can draw in weird shapes or, or symbols. So smiley faces or the ViewSonic Finch. Uh, but I'm going to select our AI pen. And if you're not familiar with this, basically what the AI pen does is it allows you to draw something in here. I'm a terrible artist, by the way, but I'm going to try and draw a sailboat. Why am I drawing a sailboat? Because I want a ship in my presentation. So I draw my ridiculous little boat there, and it gives me some uh, options of what it thinks it is. So I got sailing ships and surfboards and some other stuff, but that's what I want, right? So I can just double tap on one of these. I've got this sailboat right here. Now it's an object. I can move it around. I can shrink it down, make it smaller. It's in my presentation. Let's go back into our pen tool here. Now, let's say I want an actual picture instead of a drawing. I just long press on that boat and it does a Google image search. Web browser pops up right there. Now I got actual pictures of sailboats instead of my really bad drawing. I, I like one of these pictures. Great. I just dragged it onto my desktop there, and now it's in my presentation. 
I can make it bigger and smaller. I can actually uh, remove the background in some cases. If it's like an object with a, a white or a dark background, you can remove that so you see the background on here. Um, we can also pull up uh, websites in because you know it's a web browser. So I'm going to pull up a website. I can now take a screen capture of it and drop it in here, right there. It says the screenshot has been pasted to the page. So okay, that's great. I'm going to take it one step further though. I want the actual Smithsonian website in my presentation. No problem. It's now embedded in this page. So this is an embedded web browser in the page. I'm going to save this as a .vboard file. Every time I open up this page, you're going to see the live website right there. I can browse the site. I can do what I need to do. I can have my pictures and my drawings and notes and information and a live website right there. But that's not the coolest part. I know we're getting away from the AI pen now, but you'll see where it's going. Uh, if we go into our toolbar here, we got this nifty little folder. I can import files from here. It does import smart notebook files, by the way. So you can pull them in. Uh, but I can pull in YouTube videos. I can make post-it notes. I can drop little post-it notes on here. They're not actual post-it notes. It's digital, you yeah, know. But, uh, but YouTube, right? So I'm going to do a YouTube search here for touch boards. Got to make sure it's spelled right. So here's, here's uh, the results for touch boards. And you'll see me coming up and got this document camera video from back in the day. I'm just going to drag it out of there. And now it's dropped into my page. Embedded YouTube video. Again, right in the page. So I'm going to save this file and this video will be here all the time takes out all the ads, so you can just start playing the video right then and there every single time you open this file. There it goes. So I can also take a screenshot, so if something really cool in this video I want to save, boom, screenshot, drops it in, just like you see in the Smithsonian here. Now you may notice if you watched our Android video, this is a little quicker and easier. It's just because it's in Windows, it's capable of doing these things, just dragging and dropping. Uh, the embedded web page in YouTube, that's a feature that Android does not have. That's something you're only going to find in PC. All right, so I'm going to go back into our basic pen. And uh, every, after you select it, you got to select it again to open the window. I'm going to make our line thickness a little bit bigger. And uh, what I want to show you here, down here, there's the letter T. stands for text. I can use that and put a text box in here. But if I tap on it, it becomes what looks like a handwritten A, and that's handwriting recognition. That's right. So I can draw my name, and then come over here to this other toolbar. I can tap on that, and it becomes text. Now, it's an object on the screen, so I can make it big. I can make it really small. I can move it around. It's just another object. So handwriting recognition already in there. Good stuff. All right, some other great features. You know, I've been talking about backgrounds. There's a little icon on the side here. You'll see some of the different backgrounds you can select, like a map, for example. I can apply to all pages or just that page. Uh, we've got yellow note paper, you know, lined notepad, basically. Uh, you can also just make it colors if you wanted to. So I want the background to be blue or white or gray. There you go. It's easy to use right there. Again, in your settings, you can set the default. And uh, just pulled up the web page by accident. So, um, another great feature in here is our file import. So, I mentioned we can import smart notebook files. So, you can open up files, import them from anything on the computer, your cloud folders, uh, notebook files, my viewboard files, videos, music, all that great stuff. We've even got some other tools here like a stopwatch and a ruler and a protractor, magnifying glass, all that cool stuff in there. Uh, but there's another great feature called throw. Throw is something we can do from myviewboard.com or the companion app. 
Now, if you go to myviewboard.com, you can just hit throw. You don't need an account. Anyone can do it. Uh, you put in your name and then your viewboard host, in which case your viewboard host is Anthony Touchboards. That's me. You would use your own name, of course. Uh, but you put this in here and it allows you to select the file from your computer or phone, whatever you're on, and send it up here. I'm going to use the throw feature from my phone in the app. It's the same thing. It's like a little paper airplane. And I'm going to be able to select a picture uh, from my phone and I can throw it up there. Now, I know I'm doing it, right? But there's a little notification that pops up right here. And it says, hey, you've thrown a file. You can double click it. It'll come up. I don't want to do that because I want to show you the other way. Uh, which if we go back to the box here, our file import, there's our paper airplane, and there's the picture that I threw up to the screen. That's now on my background. There it is. Pretty cool, right? So I'm going to show you another cool feature that's on myviewboard.com, which is right here. Looks like a computer monitor. It is cast my screen to a viewboard. Now we're using the Google Chrome browser. You have to download an extension for it. But anybody can do this in Google Chrome. You download the extension. And I'm going to show you from my laptop over here. I just go ahead and share. I can either share my entire screen or the application window of my choosing. Uh, of course, this being the Chrome browser. Uh, so I'm going to have to go back into the software to actually see it. I've got the notification pop up up top there. And now if I go to our sharing uh, folder here, I'll see my name, I can select it, and now my laptop screen is coming up. Don't believe me? There it is. I'm going to scroll up and down on the laptop screen and you'll see it scroll up and down on there. So I can't control the laptop from here, it just doesn't work that way. But I can see what's on any computer anywhere that's online. I can now see it in my presentation. Because we're in the Windows software, I've got the capability of taking screenshots. I can record. I can then close it out when I'm done. Just make sure you remember to stop sharing on the other computer. So there you go. There's the screenshot. Again, now it's an object in here which I can manipulate however I want. This is just scratching the surface of what this software can do. It is really cool, really amazing. I think you can make awesome presentations, whether you're in a classroom, a meeting room, or wherever. Uh, they've got sports backgrounds on here as well, so if you want to you know, come up with plays for your football team or basketball team or something like that, they got you covered. Uh, again, you can save .vboard files, so you can open them up again, edit them. You can open them in the software any Android app that's built into the panel. Do it on your phone as well. Possibilities are endless. This is a great panel with great software. If you've got any questions, feel free to give us a call here at Touchboards, 866-942-6273. I'll be able to help you out with this. If I don't know it, I know someone that does, and we can get you a great price on one of these. Take care.